If you are a user of the Trayport platform, Updater's Analytics adds a dimension to your trading screen which is second to none. So here we see Trayport running. Updater has been integrated to Trayport for over 15 years now, so really deep integration. In fact, it's fair to say most traders trading power or gas in Europe are using the Updater system uh, on their Trayport screen because it brings the data alive. Um, so that's, that's really key. So a whole series of um, different views here, depth levels, um, order books, um, various uh, ways of looking at the data, but of course it's the charting that's the real power. And in, in Updater we have a whole series of pre-built screens, so if you're ever following our analysis you can actually see these screens. And you can download these screens from the library, so um, if, you're, if you're running the Trayport screen you simply download the Trayport uh, screens that we put up here and that will give you the same screens that are allowing you to follow the analysis that we do each week and, and to build your own screens out of these screens. And of course Updater's power is that it sits both on the Trayport screen Screen, and then also on your Reuters or your Bloomberg. So here's a Reuters crude screen, for example, or if you run Bloomberg, here's a Bloomberg screen. So you can mix and match the data, and that is one of the really powerful aspects of Updater. So if we go just looking at some of the analytics in Updater, and you'll find this nearly all of it in the in the charts menu, but things like if you want to do a historic correlation in Updater, you choose the historic correlation, and now we can go and select from a different feed. So if I go to Icon, for example, and I want to see the correlation between um, NatGas and my Brent contract, then I can do that. So this chart here is derived from the OTC gas data on your Trayport screen and the Reuters uh, crude um, price. So you see the correlation. Really useful for looking at the, um, the the heads up in the markets from one to another. In Updater the analytics are second to none. There's a whole series of different chart types. Um, you know, you can actually do all the sort of technical analysis you need. So you, you know suddenly you can start applying technical criteria to all your OTC data. Really really valuable. Um, things like seasonality for example. You can look at the seasonality. So if you want to see how uh, MVP has uh, traded over the last uh, five years and you can actually then get a roadmap for the next year based on the seasonal effect of the chart. So this is another function that people really love using just to get that sort of seasonality view. Um, of course Updater's analysis just becomes really really powerful. Things like all the point and figure targets on your charts, just press the shift T keys, um, really really key. And Updater deals with all the different um, ch chart types. So you can go into the Trayport data, you can get 5 minute charts, 10 minute charts, 60 minute charts, you name it. And so that means that when you want to do shorter term analysis like 60 minute charts, it's all there available to you. So all the tools you would expect of course, Fibonacci, retracements, the lot. So really, really powerful for being able to blend that data with your Bloomberg or your Reuters um, or the updater feed as well. We have uh, uh, um, the updater feed providing you with a lot of these functions as well. And if I just look at the uh, the tree on, on Trayport, you'll recognize straight away the, the tree that all of the data that's available to you for charting. So you can quite simply go to your um, to, to your power charts and then go into the CAL or continuous contracts all handled with an updater. So that's again just another really powerful aspect. Another thing that uh, updater does really well is forward curves. So you can actually um, request a forward curve. Really simple to do in updater. So if I just go and select German baseload for example this is a multi-curve of German baseload and if I want to then open uh, the prices of all of those curves, here they are. I can just literally go and grab that list. I can see where the big changes are on the day and of course just double clicking on any of these will open the chart to any product you like. So again another really powerful aspect. Updater has got great automation tools. You can write reports if you're doing an analytics and you want to run those reports each day. 
of course you can have these multiple desktop so you can have as many screens as you like really powerful and if we take a look at custom coding more and more of our users are wanting to run back tests on the data so here you can see just a simple back test of the 14 day RSI on German power and here we see the results uh, so that's really quite key here we see um, the flow data and if I open update has got over a thousand pre-written trading strategies strategies and custom indicators built into its libraries and these are all available for you to download. You can of course program your own or we'll program them for you. There really is no limit and we've written quite a lot of different energy trading systems and you'll see these here and the great thing is in Updata is that you can actually download these and run them on fundamental data and we even give them a star rating so you can uh, play with a different uh, uh, systems there so really really valuable and if I just show you perhaps um, one of those systems let's just run a test now so if I wanted to run a test um, let's say I wanted to see um, what uh, is the best stop loss to use and the stop loss function in updater is a really powerful one um, and you can do it on any on, on any chart raw but you can also optimize it so if we optimize this stop to find let's let's look at say between two and eight um, percent on on a gas contract let's look at say MBP and I want to know what is the ideal um, looking at sort of a quarter percent steps what is the ideal um, um, optimized stop to be using on on the on the uh, MBP contract and so I can literally go and grab that uh, Trayport data straight away we just grab the, uh, the the front month contract I can then select it and then with a 60 minute chart I can go and just let's just test it so this is running through a whole series of it's running the first pass and and with each pass we're seeing these optimization results coming in so we're already seeing that it's around three four percent is around the level to use three and a half percent and we're coming up with a sort of the um, the optimum uh, levels here you can take all of those uh, results out into a spreadsheet um, by the way, the source code is written in Updater's own language, but you can easily write them in Visual Basic or C Sharp if you can program in these, or as I say, we'll write these for you as well. But if we look at the individual results out to a spreadsheet, or we can just go straight to the chart. And if we go to the chart here, in fact, I'll just take this chart out as, a, as another chart. Here we see the system uh, with uh, on the 60 minute chart it's saying use a 3.5 percent long and a three percent short stop for trading gas and really quite interesting and this blue line is the underlying the black line is the equity curve the performance so it just shows you how much power you've got in the updater system sitting on top of all that trayport data combine it with your Reuters and Bloomberg data and you really have got the system um, it gives you the ultimate analysis of these markets. So why not try this now on your Trayport screen and see for yourself just how powerful um, this becomes.